is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are going to be diving into some aew action figures as you guys know it was revealed to us a little while back on aew dynamite that we were going to be getting AEW figures, you know, we knew that there was speculation about them going around, and then they were revealed to us on AEW Dynamite a few months back, and then uh, later on at New York Toy Fair, they were revealed on more, you know, we got more info, we got more images, we got some other things, we have so much more stuff coming about them, and they are all on track to make order, they are, you know, nothing is delayed at this time, and they are on track to make it, and I am super excited for them, man, they're going to be absolutely fantastic, but as you guys know, we do know everything about series number one, what figures we're going to be getting. We also know everything that there, that there is to know about series number two of the AEW figures. We know that we're getting two ringside exclusives, the first being the ringside exclusive AEW ring with the Kenny Omega Unrivaled collection figure. And then we, of course, have our ringside exclusive little bit of the bubbly Chris Jericho ringside exclusive that comes with the championship and the, the bubbly and, and, and the table and everything involved with that figure, which I'm really excited about. We also know about these figures being in scale with WWE. WWE figures, which look so good, man. I'm really excited for this. I cannot wait to see what they look like in hand and feel. I cannot wait to review them for you guys and take a look at them closely and get all them out. So th this is going to be freaking sick, nasty particles when these things actually release to us and we get them in hand, guys. But today, we're going to be taking a look at what series number three could potentially be, okay? We already know what series one is. We already know what series two is. And given some information that I've seen about some different interviews and stuff like that, I kind of have a feeling of what we're going to be getting in series number three, and I'll talk to you guys a little bit about that later on when we get into it. But let's go ahead and start off with who I would select for my series three, and I was pretty close on series one and two. I'm pretty sure I was damn close. At least on series one, I know that I was pretty daggum close. I think I was a couple off. Another thing to note is that I will not be including Matt Hardy or Luke Harper, aka Brody Lee, in this thing because I am not going to be, uh, you know, they just appeared on AEW television this season this you know these past few weeks and I'm not going to be including them because they just made it to AEW and it would kind of be stupid to include them when obviously they're not going to be in the next series made when the next few series are probably already laid out and probably in production already so I'm not going to be including those guys so Matt Hardy and Brody Lee will be left off but I do expect to see them later on in the series maybe series five six possibly even later than that it'll just I guess have to depend if they can move guys around because people know that Matt Hardy and Brody Lee are definitely going to be on want list so Hopefully we get those guys sooner rather than later, but I think when we get into Series 3 and 4, it's probably going to be guys that we've seen since the very beginning of AEW, and that's what we're going to cover here today. So getting into it, guys, let's go ahead and start off our list with none other than Pac. Now, I was actually kind of surprised that we did not get Pac in Series 1 or 2. I really thought that we would be seeing Pac early on because I think that he is a pretty noticeable face, especially to those that are coming over from WWE. They've seen Neville. They know what he looks like. They have seen him progress over over the years that he was in WWE, so I figured Pac would be in Series 1 or 2. Given that he was not in Series 1 or 2, I think it is pretty much a lock that Pac slash Neville will be in Series number 3 for us, and I can't wait to get his figure in this Unrivaled collection and compare it to our Mattel WWE Elite collection, because uh, Neville got some great figures over there in the Mattel form, so I know that the Unrivaled collection and everything with him will be just as God tier. He's going to have a beautiful beard sculpted, pissed off look that will look great up next to my custom beard. EW head sculpt that I've been using for years upon years now, and I think that will be epic to compare those two, and I can't wait to see that. You know, we I think I have three Nevilles in my collection, possibly four, and I can't wait to add an unrivaled Neville slash Pac to the collection. So, Pac having a uh, figure in my collection will be great. Well, I guess it will be my first Pac figure instead of a Neville, but I think that Pac is a lockdown for Series number 3. Let me uh, let me know what you think about Pac. Do you guys expect him to be in Series 3 as well down in the comment section? Next up, guys, we have another guy that I think a lot of people love. I think he's fantastic, and I think a lot of people are on board with this. I think Series 3 will feature this guy, and I'm talking about none other than Darby Allen. Now, Darby Allen has really made a splash ever since, you know, uh, coming into AEW. I think he had, his name is way more out there now. I think a lot of people know what this guy's name is now. And he puts on a show, dude. He puts his body on the line. He, he does not give a damn. He goes balls to the wall every time he steps in the ring. And it has garnered mad respect. I think I would put him in company. People probably compare him to, you know, Jeff Hardy in that regard. I think that people probably refer to him as AEW's version of Jeff Hardy would be Darby Allen, where he is just putting his body on the line, always cra trying the craziest stuff. 
And I think his action figure is going to be highly sought after because I think they're going to nail it, man. I think the scaling on this thing and his tattoos and his face paint, maybe some cool accessories. Maybe we'll get a cloth goods entrance coat or something, possibly even a skateboard accessory. I think Darby Allen would be absolutely fantastic. And I cannot wait to see his figure when it finally releases. And it'll be a really sick one. Maybe we'll even get a body bag or something. That'd be pretty dope from his match with Cody. So that would be really cool. But I think Pac and Darby Allen are going to be a part of Series 3, no doubt. And I think that would be fantastic. Fantastic. So I have Pac and Darby Allen starting off our series. And just like Mattel WWE Elite figures, guys, AEW Unrivaled Collection figures are going to feature six in every series, which I think is pretty interesting to see that they are, you know, matching Mattel in that regard. I'm guessing that maybe their, you know, their wholesale and their, their pricing and, you know, their margins and stuff like that are probably really, really similar. And I know that I think some designers from Mattel have moved over to, you know, Jazz Wares and the people that are going to be making the AEW figures so I think that may be the correlation and maybe they wanted to keep it similar in that regard so uh, that makes a lot of sense you know you take the things that you're inspired by that you know have worked in the past and you tweak them to your own liking and then you apply those going forward that is how you do some success right here so AEW is in a great start right here and moving on with our series number three guys I'm going with a tag team and I think that Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus are both going to be in series number three and the reason I say this is because if you guys watch New York Toy Fair you watch all of those interviews that were on. I think they put them up on YouTube. I could be wrong about that, but I think Ringside included an interview and Jungle, not Jungle Boy, but Luchasaurus was a part of that interview and he kind of interrupted the guys talking right there and he walked up. And I think even one of the interviewers actually asked him, you know, they asked him about his figure or they said, would you want to see a Luchasaurus? And something, I can't remember, I haven't watched the, the interview since New York Toy Fair, but I do remember him saying something like, um, you know, it, it, it wasn't being able to be made fast enough or something like that. There was a lot of tattoo deco, deco or, or something like that. And uh, it sounded like the figure was in production already or that they had already started on the figure and that it just would have taken a little bit longer. So they plugged him in a later series. And that is what it seemed like. I could be wrong about that, but uh, that is what it seemed like to me. And uh, so I, I highly, highly think that uh, it is a very high possibility that we're going to be getting Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy in Series 3 because I don't see them putting, you know, Luchasaurus by himself in Series number 3. So wherever Luchasaurus falls, whether it be in Series 3 or Series 4, I think that is where, where Jungle Boy will fall as well. We saw this with the Lucha Bros in Phoenix and Pentagon. So I think that that will be the same thing true here with these guys. And I think that makes sense. You know, the Young Bucks were in Series 1. The, uh, you know, the, the Lucha Bros were in Series 2, so Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy would be Series 3. Maybe they can plug a tag team into every series. That would be pretty dope. Maybe Series 4 will feature the best friends. I could see that happening. SCU, possibly. The first ever champions maybe come with the tag team championships in Series 4. These are things that we need to be thinking about because I think these things could come true. And I know that, you know, at SDCC, the, the reveals, I know the SDCC is obviously canceled, but I know that uh, we are going to be getting reveals, and I know that those reveals are going to probably feature Series 3, potentially Series 4 of AEW's Unrivaled Collection, and maybe we will see Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus there, possibly SCU, which we just mentioned as, uh, as well. So that is potential as well. Uh, moving forward with Series 3, guys, I'm going to plug in Orange Cassidy. I think Orange Cassidy could be a potential lock for Series number 3. If he's not in Series 3, I could see him being in Series 4 as well. Big fan favorite. Hopefully, we can get some correct molds and stuff. I wonder if they will make cloth goods jackets and shirts for Orange Cassidy, and then he'll have a regular torso underneath. Maybe they'll give him cloth goods, you know, jean jacket and shirt, and then they will have the pants molded, and then he'll come with interchangeable hands to possibly put the hands in the pocket. I don't no, I feel like they're going to go all out on their figures. It seems like they are paying a lot of close attention to detail and including great accessories, and they're really making the figures worth it. They're having interchangeable hands and stuff, so I think they are going to go all out, and I think Orange Cassidy could potentially be in that series number three and possibly come with sunglasses as well. That would be a perfect Orange Cassidy figure, and maybe it'll be... I'm thinking that Orange Cassidy will probably end up being like a ringside exclusive or something someday if it's not in any of the series, but they got to make an Orange Cassidy. Cassidy, man. It's just a thing. I think that he will sell very, very well. People want Orange Cassidy a lot, and um, it is just seen by everybody out there. Like People love this guy. They love what he does, and he has a strong fan base. So I think Orange Cassidy will be a beautiful plug into the series there, whether, whether wherever he falls, you know? Um, but coming in for our last figure in the series... 
I really had a difficult time. I feel like it won't be any member of a tag team, so I was going to put like a Christopher Daniels here, but since he is involved in SEU, I do not see him being plugged into the last figure in the series. So I have it narrowed down to a few people. I think that Sammy Guevara could be a plug in here. Joey Janela could be a plug in here. Kip Sabian could be a plug in here. Or Jimmy Havoc. I could see it being any of those guys. You know, Jake Hager is another one that I don't see being made just yet. I think he is a potential for Series 5, possibly 6. And uh, he fits in sort of the Matt Hardy and Brody Lee mold. Even though he was there before them, I think that he will come at a later date. But uh, Joey Janela probably would be the strongest one, I would think, coming here at the end. Or Sammy Guevara. Vara, and I could potentially see Jimmy Havoc, but some of these guys have been there since the beginning. You know, those four guys, Sammy, Kip, Janela, and Jimmy Havoc have been there since the beginning, so you would think that one of those guys will probably be there at the end here to plug into series number three to get that last spot, but I know that no matter what, you know, part they play in, I think that all these guys are going to be made in due time, but this unrivaled collection from AEW, man, and Jazzwares and Wicked Cool Toys, I think that they're going to nail it, man. I'm really, really excited to see what we get coming forward, what reveals we're going to be getting in a couple months when SECC reveals are being leaked and leaked. And I don't know how they're going to leak them. I don't know if they're going to post them on Instagram or if AEW is going to put them on Dynamite or what the hell they're going to do because uh, it just seems like we're going to be getting some good stuff, man. I'm super duper excited. I want to know down in the comment section below what you guys think of my Series 3. What do you think about Series number 3? Who the hell would you put in it? Who would you like to see? Are you excited for the AEW? figures do you even watch AEW if you don't you're definitely missing out guys it's super duper amazing and it's uh it just it I don't know it kind of just rekindles the flame I think that everyone involved over there just puts in all the hard work man they just they they're really passionate about what they're doing and I'm super excited for what they do moving forward but I am uh, here to indulge in all the figures that they make for us because I love all the talent they put on TV and uh you know uh, I I will gladly you know buy the action figures but I'm getting the hell out of here guys let me know what you think of series number three down in the comment section below who would you put in series number three leave your pred predictions for that down in the comment section below but i do think we will see series three later on in the coming months so i am excited stay tuned i will report on it here today if you guys missed thinking outside the box or action figure appointment from the last few days definitely go check those out but i'm gonna get out of here guys thank you so very much for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter my name toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you